Hello, my name is John Lyons. I'm Labour Party TD for Dublin North West and I've just come back from a briefing by Minister Richard Bruton to a number of us on the action plan for jobs which he is publishing or releasing today. Now I won't go too much into the document but the whole idea is to try and give you a little bit of a synopsis of the main points of it. There are 270 plus pro-job measures that have been announced in this document today which are all about getting the economy moving um, at a local level, at a national level, at an international level. The first part is really about removing the obstacles that are making it difficult for small and medium enterprises in Ireland to do business. And the second part is more the visionary approach which is looking at the long term obje objectives of increasing job opportunities in areas where there's potential growth such as the green economy, digital gaming, agri-food and so on. There are four points that were mentioned at the briefing there today which are all about trying to get the economy moving. The first one is about supporting ind indigenous jobs and as I mentioned already there is a number of measures that will be in there which will support local businesses to grow uh, and increase um, their, their job opportunities and increase their growth. Some of the measures that have been uh, announced today around that include the, the um, small, uh, small and medium um, um, enterprise fund the uh, microfinancing um, guarantee scheme as well and all of these are ways of dripping down funds to small and medium businesses in order to, to, to grow because at the end of the day we want all of our small and medium sized businesses to be doing more, growing more, exporting more and to be better overall. The second area that was announced today by the Minister was around expanding our multinational base, attracting more multinationals here to Ireland to do business. The third part was around targeting sectors of employment that could, that could, uh, that could grow and I've mentioned some of those already, the digital gaming, uh, creating uh, areas where we can have industry clusters and um, other things like cloud computing. And finally the other issue which has always come up has been around competitiveness, about making it cheaper and easier to do business in here. If I was to pick a couple of points that really stood out for me today, if you're a local, if you're a, a, a small company trying to start up your business or grow your business, one usually went to the local uh, county enterprise board. One of, I think, the, the, the best points to point out on these 270 measures that are announced today is the amalgamation of the local uh, county enterprise board back into the local authority which will have a connection with Enterprise Ireland. So what you will really have is local authorities streamlined to meet uh, the, the needs of local businesses and I think that's something that should be really welcomed. Um, what's all this about? It's about creating 100,000 jobs. Enda Kenny says, or Taoiseach says, that he wants Ireland to be a country where, the small, where it wants to be a small country where, where it's good to do business or where it's the best country, small country to do business. And I think the 270 plus proposals which were announced today, albeit them quite ambitious, I mean they are targeted. The good thing about it is is that there's going to be a quarterly review of this by a, a subcommittee of the Cabinet who will report to Cabinet uh, looking at targets that have to be delivered upon. Unlike lots of other documents that have come out in the past by previous governments I must say, this document is something which is going to be acted upon. It's not just a document, it's a document that has legs, it has potential, but I think you know it, it has to be acknowledged as well that we're in a tough position at the moment and I think one of the striking features of today's um, action plan and jobs is that jobs has been given the same platform as the issue of our economy that we are going to focus on getting jobs to the same way that we are focusing on getting our economy back up and running. I think it's very aspirational to have 100,000 by 2016 but I do think it's achievable. Uh, some of those obviously relate to external forces coming in and private investors but I do think that the 270 plus measures that have been announced today will see a big change in the amount of jobs that come on board. But I think it also must be pointed out that it's not the, the job of government to create jobs and that is pointed out pretty much in the action plan announced today that this is in combination with the small and medium sized businesses that are there, the industries that are from outside of Ireland attracting them back in here. And as Bill Clinton just says the last day, you'd be mad not to do business in Ireland and I think these measures that are set out today you know, set up um, a programme that will make it easier and remove the obstacles for people to do business in Ireland.